Ace Benedict, going to do a modern take on this dish. I'm also going to be diving into a few basics. We're going to be making our own butter and our own scrap vinegar. I'm excited for this one, so let's have a look what we're working with today. Alright, we've got some sourdough offcuts. This is just some old and stale pieces of sourdough. A homemade apple cider vinegar. This is made from apple peels and apple cores. We're going to get into how to make this a bit later on in the video. And homemade butter. So we're gonna be starting off making ham and cheese croquettes. Melt 50 grams of butter in a medium sized saucepan. To the melted butter, we're going to be adding one finely diced onion. Saute the onion until softened. Add a little pinch of salt to draw out any moisture. Then three cloves of finely chopped garlic and two teaspoons of xanthan gum. This is going to work as our thickening agent. Then we're going to slowly incorporate 500 mils of milk to the mixture to form our bechamel. Next up, we're going to finely chop some ham. It can't be an eggs benedict without ham. Give that a mix into your mixture. Then for the cheese, I'm going to be going with 200 grams of a vintage cheddar, which I'm grating myself. Add this to our bechamel and give it a good old mix in. Then I'm gonna be finishing the croquettes with some finely chopped parsley and a generous hit of salt and pepper. Ideally, we want to leave this overnight because it's got to be thick. Look at that, thick Next up, butter from scratch. Using only two ingredients, add 500 ml of cream into the food processor and mix on high for five to seven minutes. Just before your butter starts to form, add two to three tablespoons of water and this will help the butter and buttermilk to separate. This recipe can be dangerous, so use at your own risk. Ooh, rich creamery butter. Pour out the buttermilk and scrape the butter from the bowl. We don't want to waste any of that buttery goodness. Then we're going to package up our butter in some baking paper and send it off to our families for Christmas or just leave it in the fridge to set. And whatever you do, don't throw this buttermilk out. If you've got some old and stale bread and want to bring some new life into it, you can just make some breadcrumbs. Add your bread pieces to a now butter-free food processor and then blitz them until they're smaller bread pieces. And try and remember how to use your food processor when working in reverse. Put them onto a baking tray and slide that into an oven set at 160 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. Once the bread is dried out, add it back to your food processor, rounding up any of your stray crumbs from the bench. Then we're going to process that into our desired crumb size. Okay, now homemade vinegar to a large jar Add apple peels and apple cores. I usually keep mine in the freezer until I'm ready to make a batch. Add enough filtered water to cover your peels. Then one tablespoon of sugar per liter of water. How's my hands? Pop on the lid. Give it a label. And then we're going to just put this into our pantry for four to six weeks and let it do its thing. In a small pot we're going to be melting down our homemade butter and then in a large pot we're going to be poaching our eggs. Bring the water to a gentle simmer. Make a spiral with a spoon and then drop your eggs into the center of the water. Let them do their thing for two to three minutes. Then drain them on some kitchen towel and there we have it eggs that even eggs would be proud of back to our croquettes 
You can form these into any shape you like, but I went with, well, sort of logs. I definitely recommend using a piping bag to get a more desirable shape. Next up, we'll prepare our crumbing station by cracking three eggs into a medium bowl. Summon our inner culinary god powers and remove any eggshell. Then I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and a splash of buttermilk from earlier. Then whisk thoroughly until combined. Then crumb as usual. I usually like to do a wet hen and dry hen method, but the croquettes were really soft and really delicate, so I just had to get in there and get messy. A cast iron pan with vegetable oil and heat to 160 degrees. Then we're gonna fry up these croquettes until they're lovely and golden on the outside and cheesy in the middle. Now that our butter is all nicely melted, let's make the fastest and easiest hollandaise ever. Add three egg yolks, one tablespoon of homemade vinegar, and a small amount of hot water to a blender. Wazz it up, and then we're going to be adding our butter in slowly. I transferred the butter into a Pyrex jug, just so it was easier to get in the little hole at the top of the blender. Season the hollandaise to taste. Now we're gonna plate this up. Space out three croquettes on a plate with enough room to place two eggs between them. Cover your eggs and table generously in that sauce. Add a little sprinkle of cayenne pepper. And then we're going to finish this with a few micro leaves of sorrel for a bit of color. Use part of this recipe or all of it. Just be a little bit more creative with your food waste. Delicious, so good. We've got the creamy gooiness of that bechamel cheesy croquette, a little bit of texture from the breadcrumbs that we made ourselves and a delicious, perfect poached egg and a creamy hollandaise sauce. What else could you ask? So simple and so easy to make, but we've used food scraps to elevate it and change it to something modern and interesting. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments what food scraps you throw out and I'll show you what you can turn them into. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, and as always, cook more, waste less.